If you have a printer that's given you a challenge, use our technical support line to get help today. We provide both phone and remote services on a per call basis. See details in our description or visit our website for more information. Today I'm going to show you how to recover and check your print heads on the HP Page White Excel printer. I'm going to first show you how to check your print heads if you think there is some clogged nozzles. If you look at your touch screen, from the home screen you can swipe to the left and look for an icon that says optimize quality. If you open it, open up that, then you will get to a optimized printing quality screen. And the first thing you want to do is to print out a diagnostic plot. That way you can identify which head is giving you streaks. So up here in the upper right corner, hit print diagnostic plot. And then it'll ask you which roll you want to print to. Ideally, you want to print to the widest roll that you have. In most cases, it'll be 36 inch. Go ahead and hit OK. When the diagnostic plot prints, it will come out the back of the printer. If you have a stacker like this one, it will drop down to the floor beneath the stacker. Just pull the print out the back. When you're looking at the diagnostic plot, you want to look for any kind of streaks that might be going through all the colors. So here's an example of one that has some contaminated nozzles. And this can happen from the printer sitting for long periods of time. If the printer does not get used at least once a week, then you can start to have some issues like this. So the purpose of this diagnostic plot is to identify which print head needs cleaning. So if you follow the streak all the way down to the bottom of the page, you'll see which head needs to be cleaned. You'll see there's heads one through eight. Here's another example of what you might see if you get clogged nozzles. You might see a white line going through the colors. That means that the nozzle is clogged and is no longer ejecting ink. In this case, head number eight has some white lines in it, so we're going to run a recovery on head 8. When you go to recover the heads, you have a couple of options. One is you can run the check and recover print bar, and that will have the printer go through each head and check each nozzle and see if any of them are clogged, and then it will decide to clean those heads depending on the test results. This test takes a little bit longer, it takes three to four minutes sometimes, depending on how many heads need cleaned, but it typically uses the least amount of ink. If you want to just recover a specific head, you can hit the advanced calibrations option at the bottom. And here you can select enhanced print head recovery. In this screen, you can specifically choose the head you want to clean, and then it will try to purge all the nozzles to, to eject any kind of clogged ink. So let's go ahead and go to it, Enhanced Printhead Recovery. Click Continue. Here you'll see all eight heads, and here you can choose which head you want to recover. In my case, I'm just going to choose head 8 and then hit recover. Once the print head recovery is done you want to print out another diagnostic print to see if the recovery improved the print quality or not. So scroll back up to the top of the optimized print quality screen and print another diagnostic plot. When the plot prints out look to see if the streaks are gone. In this case, the black streaks that I had originally are now gone. And also the streak I had going through head eight has also been fixed. 
This is what a good diagnostic print should look like. Nice consistent colors, no streaks going through the heads. I do want to point out that you may see some varied bands going through some of the colors. This is normal for this type of printer technology. Some banding is normal. It's because this is a single pass printer and it's built more for speed. But your main thing is you don't want to see light streaks or dark streaks going through the colors. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. If you have a printer that's given you a challenge, use our technical support line to get help today. We provide both phone and remote services on a per call basis. See details in our description or visit our website for more information. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.